Hi guys, Dr. Robert Barrington here with some more nutrition advice. I wanted to give um, a, a, some information about a very effective way to control blood pressure in the short term. This is an acute um, uh, way of lowering blood pressure over three hours. Uh, it's a nutritional strategy uh, and it was from um, a, a paper uh, that was published uh, last year uh, in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. Uh, and I'll put the link to the, um, the PDF of the paper uh, in the comments box below this, this, uh, this video. Um, what they what this uh, what the researchers did is they is they took a group of hypertensive men and they gave them 60 mils of tart cherry juice. Um, now uh, this is you know not a great amount of cherry juice. Uh, I, you know if, if you've watched my videos previously, you'll see that I've, I I'm not a big advocate of of fruit juice, but fruit juice does have a use, and there are many studies that use fruit juice to cause physiological effects in humans, and this was one such study. Um, what they found was that when these uh, men consumed uh, tart cherry juice, what actually happened was they had a reduction, a significant reduction uh, in their blood pressure for three hours. Um, and this was obviously, uh, you know, very interesting. Um, and this is a this is an, an acute effect. And it's it's a, you know, you drink the cherry juice and then you get the reduction in blood pressure. And then as the as the cherry juice is metabolized and, and your physiology goes back to normal, uh, the blood pressure would rise back up. So this is a this is an acute treatment for blood pressure, and that's not to say that over over the course of you know drinking uh, uh, cherry juice for a longer period of time, or consuming it as part of a you know a healthy high quality diet, your blood pressure wouldn't go down uh, in the long term with a chronic reduction in blood pressure. But this is a very effective way to uh, if you have high blood pressure and you want to control it, drinking um, cherry juice uh, regularly throughout the day may cause you to have uh, reductions in blood pressure. And obviously, if you drink three lots of cherry juice. Uh, you may well get three lots of reduction in the blood pressure and that's going to have a beneficial effect um, because it's going to decrease your risk of uh, having a myocardial inf infarction. Um, what's the mechanism by which this actually happened? Um, well, uh, it's probably due to some of the phenolic acids that were um, in cherry, uh, they're not actually in cherry juice, but they're metabolites of um, compounds that are in the cherries. Um, so this may actually very well uh, have a have a similar. There may be a similar effect if you actually eat the cherries themselves. You may have to eat more of them because the juice is obviously a concentrated form of the nutrients. But uh, this would very likely have a, a similar effect if you ate uh, uh, whole cherries. Um, there are two uh, phenolic acids that are important. They're proto-catechuic acid and vanillic acid. And both of these phenol phenolic acids were detected in the blood during the period where the, um, the blood pressure reduction was occurring. So it's not possible to say that these were definitely causing the effect, but there is a mechanism why, whereby phenolic, phenolic acids can cause blood pressure lowering effects. And so it's, it's, it's reasonable to assume that they may have been a contributing factor or the causative factor. Um, cherries contain flavonoids. They're very rich in anthocyanins, but they also contain other um, subgroup uh, of flavonoids. So they contain flavanols as well. They contain uh, many different phytochemicals. Now, flavonoids are interesting because when they're they're not very well absorbed from the small intestine, what tends to happen is they is they get metabolized in the enterocytes and then they get they get thrown back into the into the gut. They're they're effluxed back into the gut after they're enter uh, after they're um, metabolized in in the enterocytes, the gut cells themselves. Then they pass into the into the colon. Now in the colon they act as a substrate for bacteria. Bacteria are able to metabolize flavonoids. They use them in part of their metabolic process. And one of the byproducts of this metabolic um, uh, synthesis of, of uh, sorry, this meta, this metabolism of flavonoids in the in in the colon is the production of phenolic acids. Um, so cons consuming a diet high in flavonoids increases the phenolic acid content of the colon. Now these phenolic acids can be absorbed from the colon and they pass into the blood. They can be obviously further metabolized in the liver and they, they have a further breakdown products. But generally the cons uh, 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 consuming food high in flavonoids results in an increase in the content of phenolic acids in the blood for this reason. Uh, and it's, there's obviously a delay there because it takes time for the flavonoids to get through the stomach. It takes time for them to get into the colon. And when they're in the colon, they have to be metabolized. Then they have to be absorbed and then they go into the blood. So this explains why there was a delay in the absorption of these phenolic acids from the consumption of this cherry juice. It took time for the phenolic acids to be synthesized and absorbed. Uh, and the, the, the peak level of these phenolic acids in the blood was about two hours. Well, if we compare that with the reduction in blood pressure, what we find is that the blood pressure reduction occurred about three up to for up to three hours. So the peak 
production in blood pressure was was coincided with this peak um, blood uh, blood content of phenolic acids. Um, so this is where the researchers, um, you know, came to the conclusion that it may very well be these phenolic acids that are actually having the effect uh, on the blood pressure. So this is a very effective way, a very short term way of, of actually um, lowering blood pressure. Um, and obviously, the more cherry juice you consume, um, you know, the more uh, the more lowering of blood pressure you'd have, you know, the more times you would be able to lower the blood pressure if you consume it once a day you'd get a three hour reduction uh, in in you know in your in your blood pressure if you had two lots of cherry juice you'd get two lots of three hour reductions in your blood pressure and so you know it doesn't you know you, if you if you consumed a, a glass of cherry juice with each of your meals throughout the day uh, you have a very effective way of controlling high blood pressure now, the long term way to control high blood pressure is through, um, you know, regular exercise. It doesn't have to be massively intense uh, and through a high quality diet. Um, but this is a very effective way for those people who already have hypertension and they're aware that they have hypertension and they want to do something about it, but they don't want to go perhaps down the, the route of taking drugs. Perhaps they have borderline hypertension and they've been told by their, their, their GP uh, or their doctor to um, to try and control it through diet. Uh, doctors will often say, OK, your blood pressure is a little bit high, but I don't want to give you any medication. But I'd like you to make some modifications to your diet, take some exercise and, and come back in you know a month's time and see if that's controlled your blood pressure. This would be a very effective way of uh, you know of, of, of managing that and as the uh, and then on top of that you would obviously change your diet uh, and then that those dietary changes may take a little bit longer to kick in uh, but when they do kick in you would then have a more chronic uh, lowering of blood pressure a more permanent lowering of blood pressure so I thought this was I thought this was worth sharing uh, it's one of those studies that uh, you know it, it, it is interesting uh, it, it comes at uh, you know look it's another it's another facet to nutrition it's another facet to fruits and fruits and vegetables I know that I've often advocated not consuming consuming fruit juice but you know this is this I, I would see this as a kind of a temporary fix this is something you may do if you have borderline hypertension uh, you want to control it in the short term uh, you have three three glasses of uh, you know of cherry juice uh, every day uh, and that uh, that is going to therefore have a blood pressure lowering effect so I hope you found that interesting uh, as always uh, stay healthy eat well and protect yourself and I will see you soon for another video take care <laughs>